Let us pray for the whole people of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their needs. For the faithful proclamation of Jesus Christ to those who do not know him, that through the hearing of the word of the Lord, all may be brought to faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the church of God here and throughout the world, that all who confess Jesus Christ may be united in doctrine, defended against the assaults of the devil, and enabled to gather together soon around word and sacrament, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the leaders of this congregation, for the work of the kingdom in our community, and for the resources to accomplish all that God desires, that his name may be glorified among us, and his purpose fulfilled in our words and works, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who lead our nation, for peace among the nations of the world, for relief from pandemic, and for an end to terror and violence, that justice may prevail, life be protected, and truth abound, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the lonely who suffer the burdens of life without friendship or family, for those depressed or weary of pandemic measures, and for the destitute, homeless, and unemployed, that we may bear one another's burdens in Christ-like love, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the sick and those who suffer, that God would grant healing to their bodies, peace for their minds, and comfort to their souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the saints in nursing homes, hospices, and long-term care facilities, that the Holy Spirit would continue to be their advocate until they are received in glory, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Lord our God, hear us for the sake of Jesus Christ, our great High Priest, who even now stands before you on our behalf, pleading our cause with his own blood. In his name we pray. Amen.